So aside from this little tiny little cute thing, Alcino has another boat that he's uh, renovating. So he's giving us the grand tour. And add a swivel. What is this? It's like a tape. It's a drum. <laughs> One thing Erwin did pretty well was they pumped a lot of space into not a very long boat. Yeah. How big is this boat? Oh, shit, yeah. 42 like feet. So much space up there. Uh, definitely a project boat, but it has a lot of potential. It just. It's a big project though. This place is pretty cool. It's like an IKEA. It's huge. For where you have like a little path, but it's a drive-through IKEA slash Home Depot. So you come with your car, and then you load up whatever you need, and then you check out with your car. <laughs> it's pretty sweet, but we're yeah, walking so there, so. <laughs> they've got more stock here, I think, than any Home Depot or Lowe's in the U.S. I've ever seen. So we're stocking up for uh, some parts for Alcino's boat, and then some plywood for our boat. So that we can upgrade some stuff and organize organize some stuff. Organize. Organize a new Kika word. Okay, so we've been in Curacao for about two months now, and. Uh, We've never cleaned the bottom of our boat and we're about ready to leave. But if we leave now, we're not going to go anywhere because the bottom of our boat is disgusting. Uh, so we're going to go in and clean it all out. Uh, only there's a lot of little bugs attached to the hull. Uh, so it's good to have a fresh guard. We also have some earplugs so that nothing grows in our ears. And I bought this little like swimming cap. It's going to go in my head. To protect my hair from having crabs in it. Don't know how that's gonna work. Nice. <laughs> so weird. <laughs> look at you, cutie. Cool. You look like an Olympian. Yeah. Two years ago, we decided to paint Uma's hull with our own mix of epoxy and copper powder. We heard copper coat worked well, but it was far outside our price range at the time. So we experimented with a much less expensive alternative. Since then, we received many questions about it, but it is hard to give an accurate review since we don't have anything to compare it to. Within those two years of sailing, we have been places where absolutely nothing would grow for several weeks, and other dirtier bays, like here in Curaçao, where in less than two weeks, we started to see growth, and by the time we left, Uma's bottom had become a coral reef. But the one big positive difference we see compared to the other ablative paints is that it's super easy to clean off hard growth using any metal scraper without worrying about the paint coming off. And after two years of sailing, when clean, the hull looks as good as the day we launched. This morning, we're supposed to leave. We cleared out yesterday. We're supposed to be sailing to Colombia. But we've got two problems. One, is there's no wind. And number two, is we had the machine shop weld our helm right down here so that it doesn't wobble back and forth as much as it used to. The problem is, I think because 
they heated this up so much it doesn't fit on the shaft anymore. Which means our helm isn't really attached to our boat, which isn't good. So before we actually make plans to get out of here, I need to figure out how to reattach our helm. So I'm actually using the key slot in the helm as sort of a metal lathe. You can see it's getting nice and shiny here. So by spinning it, I'm actually taking off thousands of an inch of brass, it looks like. And it looks like it's working. Yay! Oh yeah, that's much nicer. Well, that wasn't so bad. That's a lot more solid than it was before, too. That's nice. And when the wind picked back up, we were ready to leave. Well guys, this is official. We are finally leaving Curacao. Oh god, it feels good. After, what, two and a half months of yeah. being here? We were supposed to be here for like two weeks or three yeah. weeks. <laughs> yeah, one thing led to another. But, we're, life. well we're technically not leaving Curacao yet. We're going to climb Curacao for the weekend. Mm -hmm. And uh, we have a whole bunch of friends coming with us. We have Mike on his boat with his wife Ola and we have Scott, Brendan and Sev on Cool Change and our friend Alcino. So we're all going to hang out and camp on the island for the weekend. It's going to be fun. And then on Monday, we're going to Colombia. I'm excited. Yeah. Klein Curacao is a small island just off the southeast tip of Curacao and it's absolutely beautiful. It's oh, nice. and uh, the best part is... Do you, do you hear that? Look, none of us are steering, but, but you don't hear squeaky. It works so brilliantly, guys. We it's came amazing. out of the cut uh, to leave Spanish waters, and we dropped the servo pendulum in the water, and we put the the vane up in the air. We clipped it off, and that was it. We set, we adjusted the course a little bit, and we haven't touched it for an hour almost, and it's been holding us on point the entire time. Like first try, no tweaking, no gimmicks, no trial and error. We just clicked it on, and it's just working. It's yep. amazing. Yeah. Well, since we don't need to steer the boat anymore by hand, ever, uh, we need to find things to do. So, Kika's gelling my hair. Look at that. I'm giving him a mohawk. <laughs> I'm excited to see what it looks like after. <laughs> I don't know what we're gonna do with all this free time. <laughs> the things that Din lets me do for him. Look at this, beautiful. Masterpiece <laughs> that I just made. I haven't actually seen it yet, but it feels pretty cool. I'm not gonna look at it until I forget I have it, I think. It's 
gonna be cool. It's so awesome. I feel I can feel the gel. It's very crispy. You can't touch. I'm not going to. He looks like a sea star. You look at that gel hair. While traveling, we have the opportunity to meet new friends over every horizon. And while today technology makes it easy to keep in touch, it doesn't make it easier to say goodbye. So we decided to spend a few extra days all together to relax and explore this magical little island. And since there weren't any tour boards coming in the afternoon, we had the entire place to ourselves. So we are in the lighthouse in Klein Curacao and uh, we're going up to the top. It, I hope that's not the first one. Oh my god, it looks sketchy. It is pretty sketchy. <laughs> at the very top, look at this. Oh my goodness. is hilarious okay just so you guys know what's happening here our friend Elcino came prepared he brought his own cordless electric drill and he's removing as many stainless steel screws as he can because he figures they'll come in handy now that is the definition of cheap my friends <laughs> wow, what are you doing? lots of wood here holy sadness guys what do you think? Somebody had a bad day, huh? This was a really cool boat at some point. Here, let me put it on angle for you. Look at that. You know the story behind it? No, I don't. I mean, it washed. I think. I think what um, some people say is that it cut loose at Bonaire and we lifted all the way over here and then washed up on the beach. It's a really nice boat, though, or was a really nice boat. As always, thank you for watching and make sure to come back next week when we set sail to Colombia. Until then, cheers! <laughs>